Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we have something different. We are gonna talk about Kickstarters. So it's something I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I've done quite a few Kickstarters over the last two years. And I wanna talk about my experience and show the decks that I have that I've maybe given away or sold and where I'm at and if I've used the decks or not. And just my general thoughts and feelings about when I backed it to when I got it and how it's going now. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into the video. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok mostly. And sometimes Facebook and Twitter. Yes, Twitter. So let's get right into this. So what I did is I pulled up my old phone. And that's, of course, it's on Tarot Nap Plans. Jeez, guys, I should learn to say my name a little bit more. Tarot Nap Plans. Um, so here we go. We're going to go into my old phone here. And we are going to look at the Kickstarters that I backed. And I will try to do them in order, but we'll see how this goes. So the first one here is the Chakra Healing Tarot. So this was the very first one that I backed by Malamir R. Logan, and I do follow her actually on Instagram. Let me make sure I get the right bag here. Um, see, this is the problem. Did I grab that one? Ah, here it is. So this is what I'm saying. It might take a little extra time as I'm trying to dive through the pile here. I put in this beautiful bag that I got from Natasha, my friend. I bought it on her Etsy shop, and I will try to link it down below. And it's beautiful, and it's made from bits of fabric that she hand makes. Isn't it gorgeous? I just, when I seen it on her shop, I knew I needed to get it. It's gorgeous. So, this was a good Kickstarter. It was my first one. The deck came great. I was super excited. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say. As you can tell, like, I don't even know. I think I shuffled it once, probably when I got it. But, like, I haven't used it. So, I'll be honest. I haven't used it. But looking at it, it looks like there's everything you need in the guidebook. Um, the quality is really nice. It's not edged. The backs are really cute, and I came with, think it came with, like, some stickers and a bookmark and stuff. Um, the reason why I wanted it was because I do want to learn my chakras. There's so many things I want to learn. And so, in that, I was like, oh, cool, a tarot deck with chakras. And after watching Lisa, she was, like, super impressed at the time. I don't believe she has this deck anymore. But I was like, cool, this will be a way when I'm doing a chakra study that I can bring it into my tarot. So I'll be honest, I do still, like, I've been thinking about this deck actually a lot lately. If I was going to try to maybe rehome it, if I was going to keep it, but I haven't pulled it out. So this is the first time i pulled it out in a really long time. But I do actually really like the artwork. So I think I'm going to hang on to it for when I'm ready to do my chakra studies. But it's really well drawn. And from what I remember, people were saying that it was pretty well connected to the chakras so you'll see these are the chakras here the little glowy stones that let you know which ones are associated with which cards but yeah so no bad things to say about it i just haven't really used it at all so i'll have to put it back into order really pretty thank you card at the end um but yeah so that's the chakra healing tarot and it comes with a nice little guidebook the packaging is really nice. So, you know, it's a good deck. I just haven't gotten around to using it. Not because I don't want to, just because I haven't gotten to that point in my practice yet. All right, let's see what's next. I'm using an old phone, guys. It has a button. I haven't used an iPhone with a button in a long time. <laughs> so this will be an experience. All right. So we have Pocket of Peers, which I'm going to pair with her other deck, just so we can get to it. 
Um, bum, 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 out of hand. So here we have Out of Hand. And of course, it's by Jamie Sawyer. And then here we have Pocket of Peers. And of course, by Jamie Sawyer. Let me make sure I pulled them out. Um, ba -ba -bum. Let me quickly go grab my Pocket of Peers because I actually have it on a shelf because I don't use it. Well, at least not right now. I'm not using it, but I'll go quickly grab it. Silly me. I already had it. I was more organized than I thought. Look at that. So this bag is from Moonlit Fay. And there's a big guidebook for Pocket Appears and then a smaller one for Out of Hand. The big one you can actually get for Out of Hand, I believe, as well through um, Lulu for printing. But this is a small one. The big one's like all in color and there's room to write lots of notes. But this one's great too because they are RWS. So, you know, they're pretty easy to get along with. So yeah, so this is Pocket Appears. This is out of hand. And the way to know that is there's extra cards in Pocket Appears that are non out of hand like these teacher cards and the study card. And Pocket Appears, must have used it, um, shows people. But these are all people that are well-known in the tarot community or the YouTube tarot community that she's picked and she's depicted in these cards, which is really great. But as a person that hasn't been doing this that long, I still consider myself a newbie. And I started, like, in 2020, so we're, like, two and a half years in. But I definitely, well, there's Ethany. But I definitely still consider myself a noob. So for this, like, if I knew who the people were, I think I would enjoy it more. But because I don't, I'm like, I don't get it. Like, other than it's beautiful artwork, if I forget that it's supposed to be people. So for me, I definitely preferred this newer one, the out of hand one, because it's just hands. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably using them together, which is a great idea. Um... Yeah, because this one's still in order because I haven't used it yet, but I plan to. It's super cute. I love her art. I have so much Jamie Sawyer stuff if, if you've been following me for a bit. So you all know that. Um, they're both beautifully edged in this nice yellow, which was um, a goal on the, out of, on the Pocket Appears one. They have the same backing, so you could definitely use them together. It's a nice matte cardstock. Like, there's literally nothing bad to say about it. Um, yeah, the pocket appears comes in this knife box. And the outer hand is actually a top opening box, which I actually do have right here, funnily enough. In my pile of boxes. So that's actually the out of hand box, so it's different. But both great decks. Jamie Sawyer, I would never think twice about buying any of her products if you like the imagery. She does really, really great work. Um, uh, Out of Hand did come much quicker than Pocket Appeared, but they neither of them took long at all because I think she's just so on top of her game. She's so realistic with her, how long things are going to take. Like, she's just a dream to work with. Like, I love Jamie Sawyer. She's amazing. I can't say enough good things about her. All right, next one. Okay. So then we have the Badass Baby Unicorn Tarot deck, which I love. Where is my Badass Baby Unicorn? No, that's my Kawaii. Oh, I grabbed this instead of it. Haha, <laughs> I mixed up my unicorn deck. How silly is that of me?
All right, guys. I made this bag. And this one's amazing quality. I don't know what this cardstock is, but it's a dream. It's so slippy and slidey, and it's just so great. Um, this was a good experience. I have nothing negative to say. I absolutely adore this deck. I just forget to take it out. But I love how, like, it is very RWS, but there's, like, swearing, and there's, like, little statements that they're saying. It doesn't hide from any of the negative things. It's just a really, really adorable deck. Um, there wasn't a lot of social media on her from what I remember. Like, I remember trying to look her up whenever I did walkthroughs afterwards. And there's not a lot, at least at the time. Um, but yeah, that's my badass baby unicorn. Like, it's just, and the backs are so cute. Like... Bad AF. Come on now. And then this is the guidebook. So it's a good little guidebook. You get a colored photo, a full page of information. You get upright reversals, keywords for both, and then room for notes in the back. So it's a good little guidebook for sure. And the box comes wide open. And it says the portal is open and the unicorns are unleashed. Brace yourself. Blank can, can surprise you when you least expect it. So always stay in your magic. I love that. It's a really, really wonderful deck. All right, next deck. Um, oh, here's one that did take forever. The Alley Man's Tarot. And I did go all out on the Alley Man's Tarot. I got the big cigar box with the extra card packs. And I believe I got the tarot cloth and like the self bag, which I don't use. I don't use this deck. It came with one of the coins and one of them I bought and I can't remember. Now, I've heard that since this campaign has been over, people have been reselling it or buying it on the website for a crazy price. Honestly, I think I got all this for like, actually, I can tell you how much I paid for it all. Kickstarter price was 83 US and then shipping. So I paid probably like just over a hundred bucks US for this whole thing so maybe like 140 canadian max and i mean max compared to people paying like 200 or more now it's crazy to me um if you know anything about the alley man it's all different card creators some of these cards are from decks that are out some are from decks that are coming some are like he created this card so they all have different backs but he modified them so they all are the same size and I believe, like, the same cardstock. So, like, it's huge. And with all the multiples, there's, like, multiples of, like, different cards. Like, there might be a couple of fools and a couple of death cards and a couple of lovers and a couple of chariots. So, it's massive. So, like, we can't go through the whole thing. Like, I actually haven't even done a walkthrough of this deck, surprisingly. Um, but it's a really cool, funky deck, and it's something I look forward to playing with in the future. I just haven't gotten to it. Like, that Judgment card is pretty freaking cool. But yeah, that's the Alley Man's. It was a good experience. It just took a while. So some of these cards look familiar as you're going through them because they've been in other decks, or they probably, like, that would make a cool card. I don't know if that's in a deck. So, like, that's kind of what I would love going through. I think this is a really good way to, like, get to know a whole bunch of artists and then be able to look up to see if these are decks or if they're going to be decks. And then one of the cool things was, if I can get there, is some of them have foil. Now, don't ask me which ones were the extra card packs and which ones weren't because I don't know. But, like, look at that big bang boom. But yeah, that is the Alley Man's. Whew. It's a monster of a deck. Like, a monster. 
and it fits perfectly in this box so it actually comes sealed just in this box and then there was the extra one extra card pack came with it i think there was two or three that you could buy separately then i bought them all and then you slide it in like this oops i forgot my coins definitely i'm keeping more of the collector's item it's really cool and i heard he might be doing one with an oracle i don't know if i'll get that one but this is definitely really cool to have it just took a long time and he did a podcast but i'm not overly interested in the podcast so he did like a lot of like um talking about it afterwards for a really long time that was the only thing okay so next we have the phantom tarot so i no longer have this one it was a really cool deck but i wasn't a fan of the cardstock and i thought i would really like the imagery turns out the imagery was not for me and so i rehomed it it was really cool and the ai expert aspect was really neat and i got all the extras i didn't keep it i passed it along so that's all i can say about that it was fun like i have other stuff from lamucci i have a small oracle and i had their um i forget what it's called but it's it's rws but it's like a princess sort of deck and it's really cool it's like black super colorful um but yeah so that's that one the Lucene Tarot. So this is really cool. Oops. I love this deck so much. But I love their original more. So the Lucene decks I put in Peggy Bags. So I'm not going to show you both because, you know, that's a lot. But... The thing about the Lucene decks is they're gorgeous. And they took, I guess, a normal amount of time. These ones are digital guidebooks. But look at that. Look at that bling. And the other one's like bronzed color. And dark blues and navy. The other one's more blue-based. And this one's more gold-based. Beautiful, beautiful card images. The reason why I got this deck is because of another deck. So I love Lisa Santine's work. It's absolutely gorgeous. Great cardstock. This one's a little more matte than um, her first deck. So her first deck, I'll show you while I rewrap this up, or we're going to have a disaster on our hands, um, is the Destiny deck. Lucene's Destiny deck? I always forget the name of it. Um, and that's the first deck. And that was, I think, on Kickstarter originally, which, of course, I missed. Um, and so that one I bought straight off of her website and then she released these and then she just did, and which are all, I believe, still in her shop. She just did, um, an Oracle, which is gorgeous. So the Oracle, I almost backed on Kickstarter, but I didn't know it was going to be on Kickstarter. I thought it was just on her website. So I backed it on her website. So not technically a Kickstarter, but it kind of was came out on kickstarter so it's the destiny oracle lace and then it's the destiny oracle so this is the tarot uh the oracle sorry that matches her first tarot and this one like you can see how it matches the second one but it really matches her first one it's really really pretty and it's that nice buttery rose petal smoothness and those are the backs. So the backs match the first deck. So really, this was meant, like, it can definitely go with the other two decks. But it was definitely meant to go with her first deck. That I believe was on Kickstarter. But I'm not 100% sure. Because I, I, yes, it was actually. I backed it because I found it when it was shipping after the Kickstarter was over. That's what happened. Alright. So that's those. Oh, Lord. All right. Next, we have the Entanglement Tarot. Now, I'll be honest. I haven't really used this at all. 
It has been in my desk for whenever I do magical working. And I'm getting used to my tarot before I dive deep into magical workings. So that's why I haven't used it. But I plan to use it. And I got the crystal grid. The crystal grid. I think it's called the crystal grid something deck. Anyways, it's also in the same shape and in black cards as well. Um, and so I plan to use them all together when I'm doing magical working. So these are the backs. The Kickstarter was okay, but they had other extra stuff that they didn't ship outside of the U.S. So it was a little bit odd. But I think it was their first Kickstarter. I don't know if they've done more since, to be honest. I like these because it's symbols. Um, and then it says Four Pentacles. And I'm really glad I actually pulled this out because I almost just backed something else that I decided to back out of last minute. And this is kind of a similar thing. So maybe I will be using this. I almost backed Tarot Disassembled because I missed the first Kickstarter and I really wanted it. But I don't know if I'm kind of beyond that. I don't know how I feel about it. I really, really wanted it, but now I'm not sure. And I think it's like over or over tomorrow when I'm filming this. And actually, this does kind of a similar thing. It pulls out some of the elements. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. I just haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. Um, I think it's cool how they connect. They're nice and clear what they are. They definitely go by colors. The titles are on them very clearly. And it's a great little deck. I think it's going to be a little awkward to shovel. Shovel. Shuffle. But other than that, it's a great little deck. If I can get it back in its shape here. And yeah. And there's the box. And yeah, there's not much to really say about it. And this is just a bag from Etsy. I bought two bags that are similar. So I put the crystal one in one and then this in the other. And they fit perfectly together. All right. Next deck. Um, teeny tiny tarot, which we're going to do another double here. Where did I put my teeny tiny tarot? We're going to do teeny tiny tarot and all the mini divvies, which is all on Kickstarter. But she did the teeny tiny tarot with one mini divvy. And then she brought it all the other mini divvies recently, like this year. I think it was over like a year and a half or so. She did both of them. Um, and in both, you could get this box, which was really cool. And then it was surprised with the rest of the mini divvies was these extra cards, which are super cute and help you make a tarot spread. And it totally matches the set and was a really fun surprise. I feel like I should edge those in orange or something one day. All the things on our crafter slash tarot list, right? And this is the beautiful box. And I always remember the key of where you open it, the keyhole. So she did change some of the names, so I put them here. So I would remember what they are. And this is the full set. And it says here, the end is the beginning. So if we pull them all out, there's also a wooden coin, which is with my divination stuff, like my charms and stuff. These are all of the sets. So we have the teeny tiny tarot, curiosities, omens, ghosts, messages, opposites and dreams so i believe ghost was the original one but i can't remember and so again look i stuck it in there so i remember what's what because there's no guidebook to this Oops. and there's thank you cards and such inside and yeah, this is the teeny tiny tarot. I didn't really get to use it much this fall the way I wanted to, but it's super cute. I should actually be using it kind of now, but it's kind of close to Christmas, but we don't have snow yet. So I'm all confused which decks to use. Guys, Canada with no snow, especially where I live. It's so weird. We need our snowman. Come on, Mother Nature. 
So yeah, I love like the color palette so fall. It's not necessarily Halloween-y, but it a little bit is. It's just a great, fun little deck. And it's so small and portable. It's a great deck. And the Kickstarter was fine. She didn't post too much. She didn't do add-ons or anything like that. Like, other than, like, the box. That was really the only add-on that I can remember. And then she had, like, a wooden yes or no coin. But um, I believe she said she has some sort of mental illness don't quote me on that and so she didn't want to make the kickstarter too complicated and too stressful for her which totally get right so these are all the mini divvies if i can get them all on screen here um so just as an example they're all different colored schemes but they all have the same back so if you wanted to you could put them all together thank you cards so they're super cute i enjoyed the kickstarter i enjoy these cards i just need to give them more of a chance and pull them out i will never get rid of this like it's too adorable i just love it to death and so each one's a theme and i know when she did the original kickstarter there was some different themes she had proposed which i wasn't sure about so i'm really glad she changed them and made them more like approachable for everyone but yeah, so that's the mini Divi set. It's super fun. And it's nice that it's just in this like box that's so like easy to store and put away. All right. So next is the little Buddha. I love my little Buddha. I put a little badge here. I'm in the Faye bag. I originally had it in that other bag that I had my um, chakra deck in, but I switched it up. And I even got the, um, the little um, tiles of this, which I was super excited about. And the stickers... And it's super fun. I haven't used it much, but the cardstock is really nice. Um, I love that it's edge. The backs are cute. I have like the deluxe edition or something. I didn't have the basic. I forget which one, but I thought it'd be cute to go with my ch chakra studies as well as I just thought it was adorable. And one of the fun things about this deck is it was extra cards that are probably in the box that you could pick a couple of the cards at the beginning had doubles and had different ones so i was able to go through and pick that out so that was really fun but yeah not much negative to say i have ordered some other stuff from the creator and i will say as friendly and as nice as she is which she did send me an email back i haven't gotten it because i ordered the guidebook because she was working on a guidebook at the beginning specifically for this deck and then i guess she changed her mind and was just going to write a generic guidebook for all her decks and so i haven't received my other items which i'm going to write her an email and just say give me something else because she had something on um shadow work that i ordered a book and a deck which i really would love to get at some point um, but yeah, other than that, I just felt like that has taken a little long considering she's been working on like a shit ton of other decks. Like I have her little wizards deck and she came out with all of her decks now with mini, which is great. And I'm super proud of her, but I wish she would have finished her guidebook because that's a little annoying. But the Kickstarter itself was totally fine. And the part, like, it was a nice clamshell open box, like a lot of these Kickstarters are. So, like, that was fine. It was just the delay on this guidebook business I'm not overly fond of. I feel like she should have finished that. But that's just my personal opinion. All right. Now we have Nicholas Cobra Tarot Deck. Um, and we'll do another two of these. So they are together. 
This is by Artisan Tarot, and I got two of their different Kickstarters um, so that I could do my Marseille studies. And I put them in this divided piggy bag. I got the Jean Noble Tarot de Marseille and the Nicholas Convert Tarot de Marseille. And the reason, and I don't need any more because I haven't even started Marseille study really. I did get some other indie ones that were really cute, like a mermaidy one and then a cutesy one. Um, but these are on fantabulous cardstock. This linen slip, super slippery cardstock is great. The lawn work is great. From my understanding, these were um, these are very old decks that they redrew, but wanted to keep all the original elements of. They just cleaned it all up. So that's really cool. There's no guidebook, which is fine. It's Marseille. I bought a book or two on learning Marseille. But, um, and I didn't edge them yet. I don't know if I will because it's white and I don't want to mess that up, to be honest. So that's the um, Jean Noble. Which was tiny. Like, you can tell how tiny. And then the Nicholas Comber. And our little thank you cards. Yeah, so this one's a Nicholas Comber. So a little bit different color tones. This one's a little more brighter. The other one's a little more darker. But same beautiful cardstock. Really crisp drawings. Really nice line work. Not much to say about it. It's Marseille. A classic old school French Marseille from my understanding. Which I'm glad that I did get those ones specifically. Because I've recently done my Ancestry DNA. Assuming there's a lot of French in there. And there was. So I think that's kind of cool to tie that into my heritage. And I do have like a reading cloth that came with one of them in there. And then of course that button. So that's those. Getting back into this phone is annoying, but it is what it is. All right. Then we have the Crooked Cat. So this is one that I also rehomed. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. I was really excited about getting a cat deck. But I found the miners a little bit more pippish than I would have liked. Not that I knew that getting it. Um, I just didn't feel overly connected. And it was very shiny and pretty. I just didn't connect with it. Um, the Kickstarter was fine. I got some great stuff with it. I had already had some of her other decks from Etsy. So I was super excited. But in the end, I ended up rehoming all of the, her decks. Because they were just difficult for me to read as a newbie. And I just was not ready for them. And I was getting deck overwhelmed, to be honest. And so I was like, you know what? These are just not working for me. But she's a great creator and has great stuff and great cardstock. And I have nothing bad to say about her. Just it wasn't working for me. So that's Samantha Sawyer. Runic Odyssey. That was a great Kickstarter as well. If I can find it. Oh, <laughs> I know where my Runic Odyssey is. So we're going to talk about the mini Runic Odyssey because my other one I think is out in my living room because I've been using it. Not that I have really officially studied my Runic studies, but I was giving my friend a year head spread and I decided to pull her a rune card. So there's the mini and the regular size and I got the extra satchels for both. There's a really great bilingual um, guidebook. These cards are gorgeous. Like, look at that. So this is the mini, and it's all in gold foil, so I don't know how well you can tell. 
but these are really nice they're really nice thick almost rose petal feeling cards they're beautiful i believe they had an older edition that was blue and this is more of a green teal blue but i do love how they have it in english and french which is really cool um and i do love how they have destruction and crisis along with the ads the picture um, I believe that's astrology connections and then an imagery in the back. And then, of course, what it's called up top. So I definitely am happy with these. I have the mini because I want to be able to carry it in my purse. And then the other cool thing is you get some moon cards in both sets. So those are really cool and gold and pretty. So yeah, there's not much to say about this one. I've used it a little bit, not a lot. Um, but the Kickstarter was good. It was a little bit of a longer one, but nothing crazy. Um, and I'm super happy with it. The big one has a great card stock. Um, I believe this one was in, a, I want to say a tuck box, but the regular size was in a nice hard box. The way most indie decks come. me i'm really trying to not edit this video but we'll see all right so that was runic odyssey so then we have our 78 tarot animal which funnily enough just came in literally this week And I ordered the ecological one and the um, water nautical one with it. Super happy with them. There are beautiful, beautiful cards. They're huge. Now, I will say the quality is wonderful. And I do have other stuff from the same creator. I have their animatras that I bought like a year ago. Um, the quality of these decks are beautiful. The cardstock is really nice and thick. The nautical water one is in, um, a tuck box versus the last two were in hard boxes like this. I have supported the new Kickstarter with the magical one with the tarot and the oracle in the minis with the big guidebooks. Um, this one did come with a big guidebook somewhere here. So, big, beautiful, colored guidebook. Um, it's a great deck. Um, and I know one of the creators was pregnant as they were shipping, and then she had her baby, so she was on mat leave. So, it kind of just sucked a little bit that mine was probably one of the last ones to be mailed out because of that, which it's not their fault. I totally get it, totally support that. It was just, you know, it felt like it took a long time. But it is what it is. I have it now. And they sent me some extra goodies and stuff. Um, I will be releasing a video walking through all three of these decks. So I'm not going to pull them all out now. But I did get three of their decks. Um, the ecological, like I said. And the nautical. But overall, great quality and good communication. Like, they got back to me when I did have questions. Um, so yeah, definitely one of the more expensive ones and the most expensive one that I've ever backed. The Gentle Tarot full-size guidebook and pocket deck. So, when it comes to this bad boy. We have the pocket deck. We have the linen, and we have the big guidebook. I'm a huge fan of the Gentle Tarot. I have the original. <coughs> the original, the linen, the pocket, and the giant guidebook. And I went all out on the Kickstarter. And yes, I write down everything so I can remember it. This is the mini. 
It's beautiful. I've been using it a bit. I've been throwing it in my purse. So it's gotten some use. Look at that gold. Um, but I'll admit, out of all three versions, the linen is like... Mwah. I love my linen edition. This is the big, beautiful, colored, extended, large guidebook. It's great. I haven't dove too much into it. But I have gotten set up so that I can slowly work through a deep dive of it. Um, but definitely my favorite is the linen, which I bought straight off of her website, as well as the first edition. This is the guidebook from the original deck. And this is the linen, which you can buy everything off of her website. And it's been on sale, actually, lately. But this is the linen. It does come with some cards to give you the meanings if you're on the go. And, yeah, I've edged mine based on the colors of the borders of the cards. So mine's definitely color-coded. And then I didn't color-code the extra cards so that I would know the difference. Little hack I thought of. But, yeah, so that's the linen version. Um, and I love all versions. But I think my most useful one, for if I'm doing personal readings for myself, I use the linen. Um, but I need, do need to get using the um, regular size a little bit more. Um, and I do have an extra copy of the original one from the Kickstarter. It's just sealed in a plastic, no box, with an extra big guidebook that I am looking to rehome at a good price. So if anyone's interested, let me know. And I am in Canada because, you know, that matters apparently. All right, so next one is Jamie Sawyer again, um, Sawyer's Path Tarot, um, the deluxe edition. Now, did I remember to grab that one again? Yes, it's right here in front of me. Guys, I keep not being sure if I pulled decks and I pulled them all. This came in a big box with two decks. She has the one that's just white with all the drawings in red, like her sketch version, or this full version. Um, and then she also came out with one that's like half and half. It's like half like this and then half with the red outline drawing. Um, I love this deck. I haven't used it a ton, but when I have pulled it out, it's got really good clear readings. I was able to tell what each card was, even though they're not labeled. Um, I have her tarot tiles in these, which I love too. Um, I love this super slippery cardstock she uses. It's great. I haven't edged it yet. I'm not sure which color I would edge it in, but it's a beauty. Um, so yeah, this is the Sawyer's Path Tarot, in case you aren't familiar. But like I said, I love Jamie Sawyer's stuff, and it's a Moonlit Fae bag to match. I love all of her stuff, but I really do love this cardstock in, part in particular. And the guidebook's like a rectangle because it's meant to fit in the book. So when I am reading with it, I do pull it out. And it's nice because there's comments like her mother and from her when, when they wrote it. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so now we have Cosmo Beings. I no longer have Cosmo Beings. I actually um, did a trade for some services with Kyra. Um, so I'm hoping she loves it. Um, but I did it also... I just... It's a really great deck and I did appreciate the imagery. But the sides of the cards were just too much for me, to be honest. And honestly, I didn't know what to pair it with. And so instead of keeping something I just didn't know how to work with, I decided to rehome it. But the Kickstarter was great. No complaints. Um, we already did Jean Noble. I'm here. I'm so excited for I'm here. But as you can see, January 14th is when I finished backing it. So it's literally going to take well over a year to get it. Because I think they're finally imprinting now. I think. 
but now we're in the holiday season so who knows how long that's gonna take um but i am super excited and there's lots of extra cards and it was a super fun kickstarter and i'm just excited to get it but it's taking a long time so there's that here's my biggest disappointment infernal tarot deck i was so excited the imagery on this deck was so cool but he never delivered he said that after the kickstarter ended he was ready to go to print or something but then they had to move and so he took all of our kickstarter money to pay his rent and pay his bills and get him to move or something and then said months later that he had planned to print the deck and was going to fulfill the Kickstarter. But again, that was months and months ago. So 120 backers. I paid 75 US plus shipping. It was supposed to come out last April. Deck and guidebook. And the guy, you know, has... 10,000, almost, you know, 10,500 US that we have nothing from. So, yeah, there's that. So, one day maybe I'll get it, but I highly doubt it at this point. So, that was my big disappointment in Kickstarter. And I know that happens, but that was, that's really shitty. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I guess, you know, he told us what he did with the money, but still, that's not okay. It's not okay. Medea Lenormand. So this one was super fun. This is a deck that I know um, Lisa raved about. And from the time I saw it on her channel, I wanted it. Super cute. So. Um, oh, yeah, I put another deck in here to study. It just happened that I had ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Peggy. And because I'd ordered so much stuff at that time, she was trying to, I think, also offhand maybe a few of these. And so she gave me this little gift, and it was the perfect size for my Midia Lenormand. So thank you, Peggy. Extra cards. And I got the colored edition, I believe. Let's check. Midia Lenormand 3, the pouch. Okay, so just the regular, I guess. So there's a colored one like this, I guess, and then the sepia-toned one. Oh, and I love that birch tree. We all know I have a thing for birch trees. So I haven't started my Lenormand studies really yet. I've read a little bit, but not a lot. Um, but yeah, I thought this one would be great because it's super cute. It's clear. It's modern, but not like too whimsical. So I thought it'd be nice and easy and clear to read. And it fits perfectly in this little Peggy pouch. So I don't believe she has a size or maybe she has a few left on her website, on her Etsy shop. But I think she upgraded this micro to a little bit bigger so it fit like those little mini Llewellyn decks. I think that's what she did. But this one fits perfect for this. And then I got the, um, the big Lenormand spread cloth. So I'd be able to do a reading on it. So that's fun. So normally when I pack it away, as you can see, I just put it like this. And then it already has a beautiful lined zipper pouch to put it in. And I think this is just like a Bluebird Lenormand that I was using for, that I want to use for study. And it matches, so I pop them together. All right, next on our list. Yeah, no complaints about that. It was quick, easy, fast. I was a good Kickstarter, and the quality of the deck is great. The Object Oracle. This was a really fun one, and Lisa gave comments about not putting words on the back of the deck, so the creator changed it, and it's been fun. I haven't used it a ton for a while because it wasn't in a bag, and I didn't know what to do with it. With not in a bag, I don't know what to do with them, clearly. So I made this bag. I was trying to learn to make different kinds of bags I messed it up a little bit but you know for the first go it wasn't too bad I even tried putting a little bit of padding in there um but yeah I definitely got to pull this out more it's nice and simple and I actually like that it's black and white and it's modern 
but not overly modern. It's a great little deck. I like the nice slippery cardstock. So, you know, it's it's a nice little deck. I don't know what more to say about it. Um, These were, are what the backs are. And because it's white and black, I don't feel the need to really edge it, you know? I've used it a little bit and got some cute readings out of it. I don't know how much I take it seriously. Like, it seems to be pretty relaxed. Like, even for Canoe here. Emotional balance, simplicity, moving forward via one's own determination. M mad bleh. Mystery or mystery of an ability or talent. Adaptability going with the flow. Well, actually, maybe it has more potency than I thought. But yeah, it just came in this little tuck box. Nothing to it. There doesn't need to be a guidebook because it's all right there on the card. And I put it in this little bag that I made. That my grandmother sewed the buttons on. Oh, come on. So that's that one. Yeah, and that was a great, easy Kickstarter. I feel like I don't have that many bad experiences. For the most part, I've been lucky. Oh, here we go. Unfolding Path Tarot. This one lives in a, peg a Peggy wrap. Because it just matched so damn beautifully is why it lives there. Like, come on. Is that not a match or is that not a match? I used it a little bit when I first got it because I was super excited and not much since, I'll be honest. Um, but I do plan to use it more. I know a lot of people were comparing this to the Lightseers. I did do a comparison walkthrough of both decks. So that is up on my channel if you're interested in that. And I know Lisa also did one. I love this deck. I just feel like it's... It calls to me in the spring. I don't know why. I love the white edges, but there's so many flowers in it. I don't know. It just screams spring to me for some reason. So I'll definitely be using it in the springtime. But I think I could use it anytime. I just haven't been doing a ton of readings for others lately. Um, so there's that. But, um, yeah, it's a great deck. It's got a nice cardstock. It's not overly thick. Beautiful backings. Yeah, it's got lots of diversity. It was a good Kickstarter. I think we all expected more of a book for interpretations where we got this pamphlet. So, like, that's what we got. So, I think none of us probably read things properly. Or, I don't know. That was the only kind of disappointment I can say I had with the deck. Um, but other than that, it's been a great deck. And I love it in this bag, which makes it easy and portable. Because I could just read right on this back. And I think it'll go with a lot of my Oracle decks. Including one that I'm thinking of right now that I just recently got. Also on Kickstarter, which I'm probably going to have to go grab because I've been using it. <laughs> Surprisingly. So yeah, that, oh, I forgot my favorite card, my death card, oh no. How does that happen? All right, on to the next. Uh, so we already did the rest of the teeny tiny tarot. Um, Personal Power and Love Story Oracle. This is a set of decks that I have been eyeing on Etsy for I can't even tell you how long. And so when she was doing a Kickstarter, from my understanding, she already had them ordered and they were printing when she was doing the Kickstarter. So these are probably one of the fastest, fastest things that came through on Kickstarter that I've ever experienced. Because she was already printing them when the Kickstarter was up. So they came in no time at all. Which was super awesome. And I was super happy with. Because I've wanted these decks for a really long time. They come in great wraparound boxes. There's lots of the colors that I love. Um, they even come with extra cards. Great little guidebooks. 
This is the Love Story Oracle. I haven't done a lot of love readings, and I'll be honest, I use my Destiny deck ones for that most of the time. But at least now I have an option of the Oracle that I just showed you that came with that matches that, and then I have this. And also, I feel like this would be good for some self-love stuff, too. And, like, dealing with how you dealt with a relationship. So that's kind of, I plan to do some work around that because I think I've realized I definitely have some work around that piece. And then we have Personal Power Oracle deck, which I've wanted for so long. When I first saw the imagery on this deck, it called to me so hard. All the colors, all the brightness, the keywords, the watercolors, like the pink hair, like, hello, my hair is faded, but it kind of looks like that right now. And this deck just called me so hard. So I'm so glad I have it. And when I've picked cards out of it so far, it's been so on point. And I don't know, has anyone ever matched some Oracle decks together to get like even more? Like I just have that Align deck that I just got in that I'm going to be showing you. And I just feel like I could pair this with that to get such an expressive message, like point two Oracles. Is that a thing? Do people do that? So yeah, that's all by Deja Druid. And that was really great and super fast, and I love it. So then we have the Little Bug Oracle that I do still have. And I got it with the Mons Tarot in the travel set. And I love this set together. Obviously, Little Bug comes right out from it. Um, but I love the size of this. Like, I feel like if the Cosmo Beings was in this size, it would have had a much better chance staying with me. But because it was so unmanageable, I, like, couldn't do it. But, yeah, I love my Mons Tarot like everyone else. It's super cute and fun, and I love this travel size because it's just a little bit smaller than a regular tarot deck, so it's not quite mini. It's really good, and, like, the guidebook's good. Like, everything is good, and we're all used to oversized oracles. That, that card just got stuck there. Ooh. Oh, no damage on my card that's not good let that happen oh well um yeah so the little bug oracle we're all used to bigger oracle cards right so that part doesn't bother me as much and it gives you lots of detail and color so i'm totally fine with that and she has a little bug oracle book which is great because I don't think some of the meanings are totally obvious or they're a little bit like you'd have to think about it. So that doesn't stick again. I'm definitely going to put the book on top because that was not good. And they are in matching bags. Oops. I'm a little nervous why that's stuck. It's the first time I've ever had that happen. So yeah, I love those. Joanna Nelson is great. She sent some cute little add-on things. And yeah. Um, okay, now we have the Crystal Forest Intuitive Oracle Card Deck 2nd Edition. So, when it comes to this, what I did was I had the first edition that I bought on Etsy, which I loved. So what I chose to do was just buy the set of extra cards that are the new cards. And then I went for one of her other decks that just happened to be on the Kickstarter. So with that came the new guidebook. So all of the cards are in this new beautiful guidebook. And what it is, is these are the new cards because of the backs. And these are the originals. It's the same cardstock, I think. It's just a different backing, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. I didn't see the point of buying a whole new deck. Because I really do love this deck. And I'm bonded with it. I've used it quite a bit actually. And it's 
great because it's the forest it's crystals or things that i love it's watercolor it's you know this is a little bit hard to read sometimes based on the colors but it's a really great deck and i really enjoyed it so i didn't really want to get this full second edition because i like my first edition so these were the new cards we have suglite um bumblebee stone codenite and turquoise and then the new bigger guidebook and it's in this peggy bag that i thought was like a perfect match i bought that bag with no specific intent and then when i got this deck i was like yes please all right next we're getting there guys we're getting there We have the 8-Bit Fantasy Tarot. This is definitely more of a collector's edition in my mind. But if I ever do teenagers or male readings, or if like my nephews ever wanted readings, I would be pulling out this bad boy. It looks like Nintendo. I haven't played with it, to be honest. But the cardstock is really nice linen. It's fun. It's square. It's RWS totally. Um, it's 8-Bit. So I definitely think it's fun and we'll be using it with my Devo my Devoom that I got. I think that would be fun. Um, but I definitely feel like this is a good masculine deck if I ever do male readings or teenage readings. Um, but this was a good easy Kickstarter. It came with like the little stickers. They were a little thick to be honest, but overall it's really cute. I don't have a bag because I just put it on my little shelf that I have with um, my Alley Man's and a few other decks that are just really cool so i just leave them there so that was a really good experience as well all right then we have at a hand which we dealt with and then a line which is one i was just telling you i've been playing with let me go grab it All right so this is by fables den kimberly sand beautiful box i made this bag which i think matches perfectly all that silverness a little guidebook on some things to take into consideration with some spreads this is an oracle deck and the messages are right on the cards it's funny i got this one yesterday I thought it was pretty hilarious for some stuff I've been going through. Um, but this is super pretty silver foiled edge. This is her first Oracle deck, I believe. She has her Lenormand, which I just got with this. And her amazing, amazing The Way of the Panda Tarot, which we all know how much I love. I have a regular edition and baby edition. Yeah, we all know how much I love my Way of the Panda. But these are cool. These are like indented, the little stars. And then this is a spot gloss. So you can feel the card as you're saying the mantra, which I thought was super cool. And I think there's five different categories of cards. You have reminders, self-love, healing, connection, and movement. So it's super pretty. And I think she's working on a second deck and as well as an oracle to match way the pandas. So go, Kimberly, go. I love your stuff. And this deck is like super cute because normally oracles are huge. So I love how tiny it is. It's going to go great with my Way of the Panda. And it perfectly fits in this little bag that I made. Um, and this is the Lenormand that I did as an add-on with that deck. Her sparkly Lenormand, which is super cute. And vibrant and just like yells Natalie. But yeah, I'll show that off more whenever I start to do my end of the year deck collection. All right, next on the list, on to the next, 
we have um, Blooming Cat Oracle Deck and Cat Lovers Tarot Enthusiast. So I believe the Tarot Deck has already been out before, but the new thing is the Oracle Deck. So I ordered both together. Um, I believe they should be shipping anytime in December or January. So I should be getting that soon. Um, and then we have um, Tarot and Oracle Divination Mats by Zia Hunt. This is amazing. I just got this in last week and I'm so impressed. I got the, oh, sorry guys. I got the Children of Litha Tarot and the quality is pristine. I know it's been out for a few years. The rose petal finish, those cards are amazing. And I did get both of these um, mats. Um, this is a um, tarot, the astrology mat and I got the mat that goes with Tarot Litha. Like I did a significant kickstarter um i do need to film a proper video of everything i got in that kickstarter which i plan to do um i'm not gonna pull everything out because i have so much stuff out but great quality stuff and the mats are really thick they're really really nice so that was a great kickstarter and she was not a, like she gave us enough updates but not too many um, Charmcast Tarot. So, here's the deal with this. This is for the plastic edition. I got the original metal edition last year when Lisa started talking about it. Not on Kickstarter. Just as she had just put it, gotten more stock in. So I was lucky and got it last year. I love it. That's the metal. And then this is the plastic one, which didn't take long at all because when did it close? July 22nd. Uh, July 21st. So, like, not that long ago. And I just got it in this week. So, that was actually not too bad. Six months or so. Ugh. And these are what the plastic ones look like. And I just uploaded a video, actually, on my channel. So, there is a walkthrough of these. Super cute, and I love them. And they do come with a silicone holder for the plastic as well. It's in there somewhere. I don't know if I can find it. It's in the bottom, probably. But, yeah. It came in this black bag, so I'm keeping that in the box. So that is the Charmcast Tarot. Yeah, easy peasy. I believe with the Kickstarter, she was offering both. Um, and I think she has both now on her website at storyoracle.com. So that was a great easy Kickstarter. And I'm enjoying those. And I do use the metal ones all the time. I wear them regularly. Um, Songs of the Grandmother Oracle. Where did I put that bad boy? I have so many decks out, guys. You wouldn't even believe. And they're all just, like, everywhere. Oh, man. Songs of the Grandmother. Well, it's really weird that I can't see it. We'll have to come back to that one because I'm not even sure what bag I put it in because I literally got it not long ago. And it may not even have a bag yet, to be honest with you. And I don't think it has a bag. So I'm not even sure where it is. But, song, I don't know where it is. But, I did film a walkthrough. It is up on my channel. Songs of the Mother was a really great deck. It came super, super quick. Super quick. Um, and I love it. And it matches perfectly with my Gentle Tarot. Actually, it might be my Gentle Tarot bag. Oh, 
Oh, it's not. So I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. Okay. 70 Tarot Magical. We already talked about that. It won't be in for a while. Monsoon. So we're almost at the end, guys. So this one, I it did, it's not that it took long to come in because it came in relatively quick because I got it like a couple of weeks ago. But compared to what people in the U.S. were getting it, I didn't get mine as fast. And it came with like a tarot cloth and this pouch. And this guidebook which at first i was kind of confused but it's in some language there and in english on this side so not great but it's something because the backs are gorgeous it's in linen and it's really really pretty i haven't shuffled it yet um but yeah it was super quick they must have been printing when they did the kickstarter but I remember I was doing something on Zoom through one of my Facebook groups and someone had just gotten it that day and that was like at least a month and a half ago. So like I didn't get it for like well over a month. Other people did and it was already on the Chivada, um website being advertised when I hadn't even gotten mine in yet. So I was a little irritated. But it's linen. It's beautiful. I feel like it's going to be really fun to read with. Very dreamlike. A little anime like but yeah super easy kickstarter as soon as i saw it on lisa's hot takes i knew that i had to have it because i don't have anything like that i've tried a few of um liminal 11's decks which have not the same but a similar dreamlike appearance in a couple other decks and i just couldn't do it so i'm hoping this one works for me but yeah, good Kickstarter experience. Um, Little Cryptic is in printing right now. So hopefully I'll have that in the next couple of months. And Green Glyphs I won't have till next summer. Little Cryptic has been a really good experience. And so has Green Glyphs. Lots of updates. Um, really, They seem like really well run um, Kickstarter. Little Cryptic has followed me on Instagram. They like a lot of my stuff. So that's always fun um and yeah i'm really excited i seen the green glyphs lenormand on his website god like six months ago or something and was trying to buy it and it was out of stock so when they came out with the box set with the runes the tarot it's runes tarot lenormand and an oracle set i was so excited so excited so yeah that was a pretty pricey kickstarter probably up there or more than my gentle tarot one but I'm really excited for that box set. Um, so that's it, guys. I don't know where my Songs of the Grandmother is right now. But it's somewhere. It's great. Anyways, I know this was a super, super long video. And I walked away a few times to find things. I'm sorry about that. But enjoy. And um, I'll see you in the next round. We're going to soon start to do um, end of the year deck collection video. So that'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. So until next time, bye guys.